Hello students, welcome to the EPG Patshala. I am Dr. Rashmi Sharma, head of the department OBNHR, Lal Bahadur Shastri Institute of Management, Delhi. Today, we will learn the module Human Resource Information Systems. This module is from the paper Contemporary Issues in HRM and Future Trends. We will be introducing the concept of Human Resource Information System the development of HRIS, human resource information systems, common types, variables and factors that influence the adoption of human resource information systems in any organization. After completing this module, the students will be able to learn about the meaning and significance of human resource information system learn about the origin and development of human resource information system, learn about the common types of human resource information system, study the various variables, factors that influence the adoption of human resource information system in any organization. The advent of computers and related technology has been revolutionizing the way different processes have been performed since ages as it is not only in the journal life but also in the organizations. Various marketing analytical tools have transformed how a marketer understands and connects with his target and makes life easier for both the parties. Similarly, in the human resources, the introduction of human resource information system has radically transformed how we see the activities and processes that come under this umbrella. The automation of such processes has not only made the task at hand more convenient but has also resulted in the generation of more effective results. An HRIS which is also known as Human Resource Information System or Human Resource Management System that is HRMS is basically an intersection of human resources and information technology through the HR software. This allows the HR activities and processes to occur electronically. An organization can only succeed in planning, managing and controlling its HR related costs through an effective human resource information system. Since HRIS also directly results in the increase of efficiency of decisions that are related to human resources, by enhancing the quality and adeptness of the decisions, it increases the productivity of not only the HR as an exclusive function, but also the organization as a whole. A human resource information system offers solutions to the processes of workforce planning, recruitment, training and performance management to name a few. Flexible designs that feature databases that are integrated into a wide range of features available constitute a quality HRIS system. Ideally, it will also include the ability to create reports and analyze the information very quickly and accurately in order to make the workforce easier to manage. For example, in case of recruitment, activities, a quality HRIS would be one which is able to easily differentiate between the efficiency of various recruitment sources being used by the organizations, namely newspaper advertisement, employee referrals, LinkedIn or any other social media page. Company website can also be included in this source. Once the efficiency of each source has been ascertained, not only can the most efficient source be targeted for future recruitment activities, but also the weakness of the other sources can be understood and can be worked upon so as to increase their effectiveness. An HRIS similarly provides a single platform to the employees to exchange the information, to be aware of the announcement, company policies, etc without bringing in the paper and the pen. Less paperwork would automatically increase the efficiency and quickness of the function or task at hand and it will also remove the redundancy within the function. HRIS is extremely important in today's world 
due to the rapid increase in competition and due to the process of globalization, competition has increased many fold and to sustain themselves in the market today, organizations need to strive for a competitive edge over their rivals and competitors. This is exactly where HRIS steps in. With the help of the varied amount of detailed data that is stored within it, an HRIS would help the HR in not only catalyzing the decision making process, but also makes the decision more relevant and efficient. With the shift from the paper and pen approach to a computerized approach, HR has totally shifted from the administrative to the strategic activities and is contributing significantly towards providing the organization the strategic edge over their competitors by helping them in making more strategic human capital decisions. HRIS provides a huge amount of competitive advantage to an organization due to its ability to provide a varied range of data regarding the human capital that can facilitate effective and efficient decision making within the organization and thereby it leads to the organization's growth and success. The application of human resource information range from personal administration, recruitment and selection, training and development to payroll interface, pension, administration, etc. Let us now understand the development of human resource information system. The origin of the HRIS dates back to the years preceding the World War II when basic personal record keeping used to be done. It did not provide any strategic advantage as such. In the following years, it was realized that there was a connection between employees and the firm in performance as a result of which organizations started to pay more heed to their various human resources processes by making them much more formalized. Human resource information transitioned from paper and pen to the computerized record keeping during the 1960s to the 1980s period. Following the 1980s is when the organizations became familiar with the strategic advantage and edge HRIS and the ability to provide them. Let us understand what are the main issues or challenges that are faced by HRIS. Global HRIS talks about the fact that as organizations expand into different countries, not only do they need for an integrated HRIS emerge, but the complexities associated with integrating the HRIS is also increasing. Managing the global data fields and country customization becomes a challenge in the transnational organization's human resource information system. Such systems require proper networking technology, trained programming staff throughout the world, global legal knowledge and the knowledge of cultural specific approaches and the use of technology. Second primary issue is HRIS security. This mentions the fact that since HRIS comprises a variety of extremely private and sensitive information, it is imperative for its access to be controlled via the management strategies, the physical security and also the information security. The third challenge is HRIS management. This deals with the decisions that are regarding the selection of HRIS project team, the development of HRIS professionals, privacy issues and whether HRIS should incorporate the employee self-service or not. While designing a global HRIS is very very challenging due to different national regulations, standards, security measures and business cultures. 
transnational business organizations must decide whether their organization will create an independent and unconnected system in each country of operation or link the entire corporation under a single network. Transnational HRIS have to optimize compatibility, accessibility and timely data flow. Ultimately, the strategy would dictate HRIS decisions and discussions. HRIS within the transnational organizational often include both global data fields and country customization. Country customization is necessary when national headquarters cannot agree about what information or data should be collected. Transnational HRIS are technological changes and challenges as systems that link multiple countries require proper networking technology, trained programming staff throughout the world and global legal knowledge and knowledge of cultural specific approaches and use of technology. Despite the challenges, effective global HRIS improve the efficiency and strategic importance of human resources and this is as per a research that was done by GreenGuard in 1995. In the 21st century, when the markets are bubbling with intense competition and HR activities have shifted from administrative to the strategic activities, the HRIS would help the organization to derive a competitive edge against one another. Organizations today are becoming more and more employee sensitive which makes it imperative for them to have an impeccable and varied record of employee data whether it is related to their recruitment, training, performance, compensation or any other function. This will directly help in making more sound organizational decisions. Without a doubt, HRIS is an extremely dynamic and an involving system which automates the relationship between the employers and employees. Business organizations with transnational operations such as Hewitt Packard, IBM and Campbell Soup use HRIS to accomplish the following business activities that is coordinating the HR programs, identifying the talent across national boundaries, facilitate the cross national learning and more effectively track and manage the quality and quantity of the multinational workforce. This is as per the researchers study that is by Kovac and Cathart in 1999. As per the figure given, let us understand the common type of human resource information system. There are some examples of common human resource information system as per Tagovsky and Deshpande who proposed this framework in the year 2001. Recruitment and Selection The recruitment and selection subsystem ensures that the list is current all the time and can be viewed by a prospective applicant anytime. It generates various statistics like jobs with high turnover and the average time it takes is to fill a vacancy and the tests and evaluates the candidate's personality, knowledge and skills at different company locations. Personal administration refers to a subsystem warehouse information about the employee's name, date of birth, service date, race, gender, salary, department code, job code, location code and employment status. Labor relations subsystem 
helps in including information about the work policies on privacy, sexual harassment and workforce diversity. Time, labor and knowledge management. The time, labor and knowledge management subsystems tracks and identifies the work schedule patterns, absenteeism and tardiness, allocates the resources and determines the procedures to administer either time related or knowledge related tasks or functions based upon an employee knowledge profile. Training and development subsystem provides programmed instructions and self paced training to the employees, planning classes, setting up training schedules, organizing training courses activities and collecting fees, tracking the developmental plan of each employee within the company and their learning process. Pension administration subsystem streamlines the plan that has been set up, record keeping, pension calculations and the retiree payments and statements. Compensation and benefits administration the Compensation and Benefits Administration subsystems provide an information on the flexible and non-flexible health care plans, short and long term disability plans, saving plans, retirement plans, pension plans and flexible spending accounts that is FSA. Payroll Interface subsystem streamlines the payroll and accounting by providing the data on the salary, wages and benefits. The performance evaluation subsystem would aid the management with periodic evaluation of the employees. This subsystem provides and performs multiple review functions including auditing and analyzing employee competency, analyzing the congruence between employee performance and organizational objectives and measuring and monitoring the employer's learning progress and performance. Outplacement subsystem provides support information for the discharged or the displaced employees such as links to the self-help books, career counselors and training programs on job search engines that is resume building and development interviewing strategy and negotiating the salary. Expenses and Travel Administration The Expenses and Travel Administration subsystem facilitates the automated employee reimbursement for business expenditure on travel, entertainment and supplies. Now let us come to understanding organizational management. The organizational management subsystem provides information about all job positions in a company, their hierarchy and job descriptions. It generates the decisions on employee hiring, promotion, transferring, retiring and firing and reporting requirements for the various employment laws like the Age Discrimination in Employment Act. Fair Labor Standards Act, Occupational Safety and Health Act, Immigration Reform and Control Act and Title VII of the Civil Rights Act. Health and safety are associated with information about the federal, state and local health and safety regulations which are relevant to the organization or workplace as well as the information on the company's safety record, injury, illness prevention plan, safety compliance procedures, workmen's compensation and OSHA forms. Now let's understand what are the variable factors that influence the adoption of human resource information system. According to a study undertaken, Several factors were identified that affect the adoption of an HRIS namely technological factors, organizational factors, environmental factors, 
psychological factors and technological factors to be elaborated now. Technological factors play a vital role in influencing the adoption of an HRIS. Operationalization of the technology influences in adopting a particular system. Operationalization of the technology deals with the operation of any new IT system and measuring the technology. Kong et al. in 2008, Tan, Xiong, Lin and Ease in 2009, famous researchers have argued that the operationalization and potential realization of benefits and existing organizational adoption capability that is how far the organization has the capacity for any adoption of human resource information system has a greater importance in adopting a technology. In the Australian context, Crawford in 1998 identified the inhibiting factors such as lack of awareness, skills, realization of the benefits and infrastructure issues that has a drastic influence on its adoption. Pekiel in 2010 found that management hurdle for adoption of IT in small firms is the shortage of IT skills. Security in the forms of confidentiality, integrity and availability of information assets is the major barrier when it comes to the adoption of e-commerce as per Lowry Singh Scholarly in the 1999 article written by them. Organizational factors also have an effect on how HRIS is adopted. The larger the organization, the more beneficial and convenient an HRIS is for it. A large organization as compared to a small medium enterprise has more financial flexibility and capability to invest huge amounts of money on an information system such as HRIS. Such systems yield benefit only in the long run and hence the financial wellness of an organization is imperative. The support from top management is also crucial in influencing this decision of adoption of an HRIS. In case of a centralized organization, the top management ought to be much more supportive regarding such decisions. Many such studies like one by Meer Chandani and Mootwani in 2001 report that the CEO's characteristics and his knowledge and attitude regarding the information system plays a major role in the IT implementation. Lack of sufficient knowledge on IT system for managerial and technical staff has an enormous impact on the adoption of technologies as per Levi et al. in 2001. Chinyanu in 2011 emphasized that lack of IT infrastructure such as poor communication infrastructure, support of IT vendors and skilled manpowers are some of the factors that affect the adoption of an advanced IT. At Yes Bank publication 2009, it can, uh, there was identified there is a journal belief that the expenditure escalates towards it at, on the graduation scale and skill building cost and maintenance rather than it being seen as a one-time investment with some tangible return. Environmental factors. The primary thing included under this segment is increasing the pressure from the globalized world in terms of competition. Due to liberalization and globalization, the world market has transformed and barriers have vanished, leading to a manifold increase in the competition. One more benefit of globalization has been the fact that all kinds of technology are now available to everyone. Even the latest technological developments from one country can be harnessed by a developing country in the other corner of the globe. Mendo and Fitzgerald in 2005 suggest that ignorance about the drastic changes that play, take place in an industry is one of the primary factors which pose a great weakness for internet adoption by small medium enterprises. The small medium enterprises have to excel its competitive capability in an effective manner for its survival 
in a collaborative global environment. Any firm that has to enable itself for the adoption of advanced technologies to compete in the competitive industry. A number of studies have also investigated that the available legal or regulatory environment, government support and commitment are the key factors that determine the e-commerce adoption by the SMEs as per Chang and Xiong in 2001 article that they had written. Now let us understand the psychological factors. The things that come under this particular segment would be the perception of the potential user of the new technological system in question, emotional readiness and state of acceptance towards the system in question and inner satisfaction that influences the organizational efficiency. Besides customer satisfaction as a success criteria, user satisfaction is a major factor which determines the attitude and beliefs as per Haynes and Petit in 1997 article. Human resource professionals have a tendency to fear that new introduction of HRIS may replace their jobs or they have critics for already not doing the good job as per Brooks in 2006. According to Reactance theory, the removal of personal freedom by an authority leads an individual to certain reactions and these reactions are quite often in the opposite direction, again as per Bushman 1998 in one of his publications. One of the very crucial things while adopting an HRIS is to provide a feeling of security to the users of that system. So as to conclude, it is important for us to understand that HRIS are extremely important to the organization as they provide a strategic edge to the organizations over their competitors. This strategic edge over competitors is crucial because of the increasing competition in the world market today due to liberalization and globalization. This module has aimed to understand the various things that come under the ambit of an HRIS and the challenges that an HRIS adoption can bring about within an organization. The better equipped we are at handling these challenges, the better will our return on investment be and the better will be the benefits reaped in by after we adopt an HRIS in our organization. Thank you.